Have you ever wondered what the most expensive antiquities in the world are? Picture a world where ancient artistry meets modern millionaires, a world where history is bought and sold for staggering sums. Antiquities, the silent witnesses of bygone eras, carry historic significance, cultural value, and tales of civilizations long past. They are the priceless relics of our shared heritage. Yet, in the world of auctions and private collections, these artifacts acquire a different kind of value, a material value that can reach into the millions. From Chinese porcelain to Italian cabinets, Grecian statues to Egyptian pharaohs, these antiquities are not just artifacts, they are the embodiment of human achievement, a testament to the rich tapestry of human history, and a reflection of the civilizations that have shaped our world. Intrigued? Well, you're in for a treat. Let's dive into the fascinating world of antiquities, starting with our first item, the Qianlong Vase. The Qianlong Vase, a Chinese porcelain vase from the 18th century, holds the record for the most expensive antique sold at auction. Let's dive into the fascinating tale of this vase. It is no ordinary artifact, but bears the seal of Emperor Qianlong, one of China's longest reigning monarchs known for his passion for art and culture. This vase, a true testament to the exquisite craftsmanship of the period, was created during his reign. With its intricate designs and delicate porcelain structure, the vase is a visual representation of China's rich history and cultural heritage. It is not only a piece of art, but also a window into an era long past. Now, let's talk about its sale. It was in the year 2010 in the vibrant city of Hong Kong that this piece of history was put up for auction. It fetched an astonishing price, setting a world record. This exquisite piece of history was sold for a staggering 80.2 million US dollars. From China, we travel to Italy and Greece with the badminton cabinet and the statue of the goddess Artemis. Now let's turn our gaze to the opulence of 17th century Italy, where the badminton cabinet, a masterpiece of the Medici era was crafted. This luxurious cabinet made of ebony and adorned with precious stones, encapsulates the grandeur and sophistication of the Italian Renaissance. The badminton cabinet is more than just a storage unit, it's a testament to the artistic excellence and attention to detail that defined the Medici family's reign. Imagine a time when skilled craftsmen spent painstaking hours, days and months chiseling, sculpting and painting this intricate piece. Each drawer and panel reveals a story, a glimpse into the world of the Renaissance. And in 2004 this exquisite piece of history was sold at an auction in London for a staggering $36.7 million. But our journey through the annals of art history doesn't end there, we now venture into ancient Greece, to the 1st or 2nd century BC to be precise. Here, we find a remarkable bronze statue of the goddess Artemis and the stag, a symbol of her role as the protector of nature and wildlife. Artemis, the Greek goddess of the hunt, the wilderness and the moon, stands in her eternal glory, her gaze fixed, her posture poised. The statue is a vivid representation of the classical Greek aesthetic, its beauty lying in the balance, harmony, and realism that classical Greek art is renowned for. This stunning work of art was sold at an auction in New York in 2007 for an impressive $28.6 million. These magnificent works of art fetched $36.7 million and $28.6 million, respectively. Our next stops are ancient Rome and Egypt. We journey back in time to the 2nd or 3rd century AD, to the grandeur of the Roman Empire. Among the many treasures it left behind, the statue of three Roman knights stands out. This bronze masterpiece depicts three valiant knights, a testament to the strength and unity of the Roman military. Sold at a New York auction in 2010, this remarkable artifact fetched an astounding $28.6 million. From the splendor of Rome we travel further back in time to the mystical land of the pharaohs Egypt. Our first stop is the 11th dynasty, under the rule of Pharaoh Menkotebi I. A stone statue of this pharaoh, one of the oldest known Egyptian works of art, sold at a London auction in 2010. The winning bid? A staggering $26.9 million. But our journey through ancient Egypt doesn't end there. The 18th dynasty introduces us to the fierce goddess Sekhmet, a deity symbolizing both war and healing. A stone statue of Sekhmet, radiating her powerful aura, was sold in a New York auction in 2013, garnering $22.1 million. Interestingly, another statue of Sekhmet, smaller but no less captivating, also found its way to the auction block. This second stone effigy of the goddess was sold in New York in 2017, for a close $21.9 million. These precious remnants of the ancient world, 
from the stalwart knights of Rome to the commanding pharaoh of Egypt, and the dual-natured goddess Sekhmet, were sold for prices ranging from $26.9 million to $21.9 million, a testament to their timeless appeal and the enduring fascination we have with the civilizations that shaped our world. These seven antiquities are not just artifacts, they are pieces of our shared human history. They've journeyed through time from the reign of Chinese Emperor Qianlong to the Roman Empire, and from the Medici family's rule in Florence to the ancient dynasties of Egypt. Each sold for staggering amounts, from the Qianlong vase's $80.2 million to the slightly smaller statue of the goddess Sekhmet at $21.9 million. Yet their value isn't solely in their price tags, they are priceless windows into our past, into cultures and civilizations that form the world as we know it today. These pieces are not just art, they are the embodiment of human expression and creativity, of our ability to create beauty that stands the test of time. They remind us of our past, and they will continue to inspire future generations. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of antiquities.